On August 8, 2008, the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympic Games was held at the national stadium, the Bird's Nest. But just over a week prior, the venue played host to a very different scene. Liu Yan was one of the talented dancers chosen to perform at the opening ceremony. On July 27, 2008, as she was rehearsing for the only dance solo performance, Silk Road, tragedy struck. Just as she was about to dismount from the three-meter-high apparatus she was balancing on, it withdrew from beneath her feet one second earlier than she expected. In that moment, her life was irrevocably changed. Having suffered serious injuries from the fall, Liu Yang lost her chance to perform in the historical opening ceremony. 我摔伤以后一直在重症监护室住了好多天，我的主治医来跟我有一次非常正式的谈话。他说的特别的专业，后来我就跟我的主治医说：“我说您能别跟我说这些，能不能直接告诉我我到底怎么了？”他说了四个
Liu Yan began exploring the possibility of dancing with her hands. When she managed to find a way to express herself again, she finally rediscovered the sense of freedom and satisfaction that dance had always given her. Now, Liu Yan has found a completely new way of dancing. In the 12 years that Liu Yan has been in a wheelchair, she has never let her disability get in the way of her passion. Instead, she has embraced her new pair of dancing shoes, become a professor and dance instructor, and devoted herself to charity and public welfare. At 9 a.m. every morning, Li Hui arrives at the Xinjiu Yuan Art Therapy Service Center. Thirty-four-year-old Li Hui graduated from the Department of Chinese Ethnic and Folk Dance of Beijing Dance Academy. He was also a professional dancer for the Beijing Opera and Dance Drama Theatre. But now he teaches disabled people who have little dancing experience. If it weren't for an accident eight years ago, he never would have thought he'd have to say goodbye to the stage so early in life. The accident occurred one day in 2012, when one of his colleagues was giving him a lift home on his motorcycle. Li Hui was in the ICU for 11 days after the accident. When he woke up, he couldn't accept the fact that he'd never be able to walk again. Day after day, he kept drowning sorrows, hoping to idle away his life. For those first few months, the world was a dark and dreary place where things like hope and happiness didn't seem to exist. Yo 我可能我我這輩子都活不下去了。After the incident, Li Hui gradually got his life back on track. Always his rock, his mother accompanied him to his daily rehabilitation sessions, during which she would play her favorite song, Swan Geese. One day, while he was listening to it, something stirred inside him that he had almost forgotten was there. <laughs> I 
Ten days later, Li Hui summoned up his courage and danced for his mother in his wheelchair. My Li Hui, who once thought happiness was no longer on the cards, was now playing with a whole new deck. Not only did dancing save his life, but it also connected him with the love of his life. Many people didn't understand why she would choose a disabled person as her husband, especially her mother, who was uncertain her daughter would be able to take care of Li Hui for the rest of her life. With their parents' blessing, Li Hui and Xiao Yue tied the knot in October of 2020. 这个窗户是无限大的，我觉得这这个透过来的照在我身上的一种光，它是从一个缝隙慢慢慢慢变大，然后更加的宽广。我觉得这第二人生中这种状态真的太好了，我赚了，我真的赚了。Nearly eight thousand people with disabilities have come to Li Hui's art therapy center to learn dance. His story is inspired. We may not be able to choose what fate befalls us. We can always choose to make the best of it. On November the 5th, 2018, the United Nations invited the China Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe to perform the Thousand Hand Bodhisattva Dance at their headquarters in New York. Despite being hearing impaired, they loudly conveyed the beauty of their silent world to a captivated international audience. The dance was first performed in 2005 at that year's Spring Festival Gala. Not only did it become an overnight sensation, but it also changed the life of a hearing-impaired girl from Hebei province. In 1996, when Wei Jingyang was just a year old, a high fever resulted in the loss of her hearing. Desperate to help her fit in and attend schools, her mother taught her how to speak and pronounce words as best she could. But when the girl said she wanted to learn dance, her usually supportive mother objected. <laughs> In August 2007, Jin Yang traveled to Beijing for an interview with the China Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe. There, she met the head of the troupe, Tai Li Hua, whom she had seen many times on TV. Within two months, Jing Yang had learned sign language and found a sense of belonging she had never felt before. However, the dancing didn't come easily.
For the hearing impaired, the ability to recognize rhythm is the most fundamental aspect of dance. The only way this can be achieved is by learning how to feel the vibration of music through their bodies. In their silent world, music doesn't come with melodies. To them, music is a combination of repeated beats that must be memorized. After countless hours of practice and repetition, Jing Yang's body gradually began to develop the muscle memory required to create the gracefully synchronized dances she had first seen on TV. In 2020, the troupe introduced their newest dance, Moonlight, hoping it would achieve the same critical success as the well-loved Thousand Hand Bodhisattva. It was both unique in substance and innovative in terms of dance techniques, but musically, it brought an unprecedented challenge to the dancers. The more challenging thing was that these cues didn't just come from the other dancers, they came from both sides of the stage. According to Jing Yang, this is one of the most difficult parts of the dance because from her position, in the middle of the row, she can barely see the signer's command. Li Wenqian has been with Jing Yang since she joined the troupe over 13 years ago, so every bit of criticism comes from a place of deep respect. Wei Jingyang is a very strong woman. Once, 晚上我来茶房 when she first came to the troupe, Jing Yang was the thin little girl standing in the corner who didn't know the first thing about dancing to the beat. Now she is either the solo or lead dancer in many shows and has taken her talent to more than 50 countries. Jing Yang's boyfriend is a law student at Nankai University. After they met, he decided to learn sign language and now plans to serve hearing impaired clients once he graduates. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, they haven't seen each other in quite some time.
，然后当然还是习惯了，原来的称呼，家嘛，老雅人。但是实际上，我们更多还是比较倾向于希望社会家嘛，老人。Four years ago, Jing Yang was admitted to the University of Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, where she majored in social work. Now she hopes to use her educational and dance experience in a way that will help raise public awareness about the disabled. August 2020, Moonlight was in its final stages of rehearsals. The dance directly incorporated sign language into the choreography to showcase its unique beauty and pay respect to the disabled artists. But for Jing Yang and her peers, it is the embodiment of the human spirit and proof of what we can achieve when we rise above our limitations. 我觉得到现在为止，我还是很坦然的说，如果让我再重新选择一次，我还会选择当舞者，因为我太爱舞蹈了。因为我从那段阴霾走出来，是因为舞蹈，那是我第二人生中唯一一道光。我干嘛要舞蹈的话，我看到很多的，很普通的人有什么区别？这种有了舞蹈一半，让我的世界就感觉丰富多彩了。